Well, what's better than one video on a Sunday afternoon? I hear you ask. Well, I think, how about two videos on a Sunday afternoon? How about Manchester United confirming Lissandro Martinez and a transfer agreement has been reached. An official announcement from the club read as follows, just being released now. Manchester United is delighted to announce the club has reached an agreement with Ajax for the transfer of Argentine international defender Lissandro Martinez, subject to a medical. Let's read through the full announcement here from The Athletic on the details of this agreement. I'll tell you what, I'm really, really excited about this signing. I think you might know that by now. Really am. I really, really am. Let's go read through this. That Let's find the final details of what the agreement is. Manchester United and Ajax have reached that agreement. Man United have, have agreed to pay in the region of £47 million for Martinez, plus an extra £8.5 million. So in total, you could look around about £55 million overall for Martinez, depending whether or not those add-ons are reached. You think that's good value? I don't think you care about the price. I don't think I care about the price. I care about the play that we've just signed. Uh, Martinez has agreed to sign a five-year contract with Manchester United with the option of an additional year. The agreement is still subject to Martinez undergoing a medical as well as contracts being signed and a visa being granted. Ajax confirmed the agreement because of their requirement to inform the Amsterdam Stock Exchange of significant transactions. Completion of the transfer is expected in the coming days. Martinez, how excited are you about that? Honestly, that's Harrell Malasia. I think it's a fantastic signing. Probably one more for the future. Certainly more for next season. It depends how well he plays this season, I suppose. Christian Eriksen, a very, very good transfer. I don't think it's the priority for our midfield, but it 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 changes our midfield. But this signing here, the Sandro Martinez. That is a game-changing signing. That is a system signing that changes how Eric Ten Hag's team looks. It changes so much for Manchester United straight away. The ball-playing centre-back that he is. And I tell you what, I think we're going to really, really like him as fans. He's got a nickname as The Butcher, which I don't think he actually particularly likes. And this is what he said. He goes, yes, I'm called the Canicero. The butcher of Amsterdam. We Argentines do everything with passion. And when I go out on the pitch, I fight for every ball. If I have to step over dead bodies, I do it. I want to win every 50-50 situation because I know that I'm fighting for food for every member of my family or my friends. My word. That is the feeling I have and every Argentinian has. It's the kind of motivation that I cannot explain. And I'll tell you what, if you read one quote from him to get you excited, it's that. But Eric Ten Hag, he's got his third official confirmed signing. Well, he hasn't been announced yet. We don't, we don't see him in the shirt. We don't have the quotes from him in his first interview. No doubt that will come in the next few days. I don't think he's going to be joining up in the preseason tour in Australia. Maybe we're going to see him for the games against Atletico Madrid and Rayo Vallecano. But maybe it's going to be him and Ericsson doing some one-on-one -on -one training at Carrington. We don't know that just yet but how excited are you about this announcement because for me oh man i can't wait i cannot wait to see what an impact he can have on our defense we need it we need that ball playing and as i said we need that goddamn attitude in the team he wants to ah oh, that, that that language i don't know whether that's a lost in translation sort of thing but that is <laughs> How can you not be excited about somebody who speaks like that for a team that uh, that has just lacked so much character? We've just been like a limp noodle as a football club for so long, on and off the pitch. Just phew, you could blow us over, wind. We've just been absolutely spineless for so long. And that's probably the biggest reason I'm excited about the idea of what Lissandro Martinez can come and do in this team. Now, tactically, I've covered this in a bit of detail. I've actually gone through a full scout report and I've run through all the positions that he will play in. And for me, it really is obvious where he's going to play, right? We know exactly where he's going to play. Now, I know there are conversations from people who think that he's going to play as a central defensive midfielder. And no doubt that versatility will probably be used in certain games. I think we will see him on occasion, maybe, playing as a, as a defensive midfielder. 
But I think what we're going to be seeing him mainly doing is operating as that left centre back. The question over here, who partners him, whether that's Harry Maguire, whether that is Raphael Varane, that's something that we will learn and develop as the season goes on. I'll be honest, I imagine it's probably going to be Maguire at the start. But I don't know. I don't think he's going to be guaranteed to start in the same way that Raphael Varane won't, won't be. But Martinez, he will be. Absolutely expect him to start there. We need somebody who can receive the ball from, not Heaton, but De Gea, and bring that ball up. He is a really, really progressive and aggressive centre-back. They're the two words that I would use to describe him. Let me quickly pull up his stats here, because I know lots of you would like to see these, and I have run through... Oh, jeez, what do you mean? Look in your browser. There you go. Let me bring these on screen. I should have got this prepared beforehand. Ah, sue me. This is the scout report here, and I've ran through these already, but look. It's the progressive passes, 99th percentile. It's the progressive carries, 96th percentile. And also, as I say, progressive and aggressive. Top one percentile compared to all centre-backs for tackles. He really is going to be... <laughs> I can't wait. I thought for, 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 as I said, for a team that has lacked so much character and, and, and just fight, just giving a shit. It, it, it's, it's the basics of football, really. And it's something that you shouldn't really get that excited about seeing being brought into your team because it, just, it should just be in your team. It should just be there. But it's just not been there. But it is going to be there now. As I say, Manchester United, they've confirmed that agreement has been reached. I think, for me, this is a transformative signing. This is the sort of signing that can make a big, big impact on how we play next season on how Eric Ten Hag's football will work next season. And he's going to be the shining example of it. Eric Ten Hag will now have a new... As I say, it, that's why I was a little bit confused as to why he announced that Harry Maguire was keeping the captaincy. Because I think, quickly, we're going to see something from Lissandro Martinez that we just haven't seen from the majority of these United players for a long, long time. That fight and that tenacious approach, we need it. We, we need to get that, but we need that fear factor back. Everybody comes to Old Trafford, eh, they're probably, yeah, like, yeah, go on in, we can probably get three points today. Whether you're West Brom, Norwich, any team, Middlesbrough, all of them come to Old Trafford, we might be able to get a result here. And a lot of them do, and a lot of them have. But that, I think, changes with the arrival of this man. Well, he's not going to change everything, is he? He can't do it on his own, but he will be the person now that Eric Ten Hag can lean on, can rely on, to set the tempo, to bring a new level of intensity to Manchester United's football. As I say, progressive in how good he is with the ball at his feet, aggressive in how he approaches the game of football. His words, not mine, going over here. If I have to step over dead bodies, I'd do it. I want to win every 50-50 situation because I know I'm fighting for food. Fighting for food, baby. Oh, I just love that. I just love this signing. I know, I know I've got, I've built a bit of a reputation of getting overexcited for, <laughs> for certain things. But when I see Manchester United doing smart things and doing things I think are correct and making the right signings, then I will be excited because that's the third signing now. With Tyrell Malasia, I've explained why I'm excited about him. Christian Eriksen, I've explained why I'm excited about him. But this lad here... I just feel this is going to be a monstrous signing for Manchester United. That's the way I would describe it. I think in terms of the fee, I mean, obviously everybody's always going to point to the fact that we paid 80 million for Harry Maguire. In reality, you don't care how much we, we pay for him, do you? I know you don't. You just care for the fact that we've signed him. You just care for the fact that we've signed the right player. And ultimately, if that's money out, out of the Glazers' pockets, then everyone's a winner, right? And I think we win in this situation. Ajax definitely win. They've sold a player for a huge amount of profit. They're going to go and sign Calvin Bassey, I think, from Rangers. And we have got the butcher. Makes him sound like a medieval serial killer or something like that. But what a man. What a signing this is going to be. If you haven't already, check out my scout report on Lissandro Martinez. I kind of run it in depth as to his strengths and where he's going to fit in this Manchester United team. But I'm excited about it. I think you should be excited about it too. This team is shaping up. Eric Ten Hag, man, I can't wait to see the season start. And I can't wait to see that man playing in a United shirt. Welcome, Lissandro.